you are watching blessing today legacy talks welcome to the legacy talks of blessings today i'm pastor johnson from bangalore what a joy to meet you today and talk to you from holy scripture when i think about god's word the unusual thing about it is this that god's word doesn't just inform us it does transform us i'm thinking of the word vision vision is a gift that god has given to us but when you think about vision you see not all living things have vision and i'm sure you know about this all living things don't have a vision yes you can see <laughs> and i'm glad you're watching this series but not all living things have vision plants are living things they don't have vision the way god created nature in his awesome understanding and in his unfathomable wisdom he created all living things with life but not with vision why is it that plants though they are living things they don't have a vision for the simple reason they don't move you've never seen a plant moving only that which is willing to move requires vision the bible says without a vision people perish god has designed you for movement and without vision you will break yourself in accidents of life plants don't have vision but they still thrive and survive because they don't have to move you see if you have to move you need a vision and the best place to catch a vision is at the foot of the cross why because then your vision goes beyond death and life on earth your vision is stretched into eternity and that's so beautiful and important vision is for those who like to move that's why god gave abraham a vision and asked him to move from the emptiness of nothing into the abundance of the promised land movement needs vision where do you get your vision from i'd highly recommend it you get it from god's word why because when you get your vision from god's word there is a god who will give you the provision to fulfill the vision young man young lady don't you ever depend on yourself to finish the god given vision because the god given vision will require god given provision you see you can't foot the bill for god's will where god has a plan he also has a provision don't you lean on your weakness while he still offers his greatness the holy bible says that vision is also progressive number 1 as we already discussed vision is for movement is not for the ones that are not willing to move but it's for the ones that want to move second vision is progressive you see when god calls you one step and you finish that one step in your movement then god measures next lap of your journey the vision becomes more progressive and i am fascinated by that story the story about how the lord jesus took more than one touch to heal a blind man i mean i don't understand this sometimes and it couldn't be that jesus couldn't heal that blind man in one touch why did the lord take more than one touch to heal a blind man in particular and i think that was because he was proving a point that sometimes vision needs multiple touch from heaven above one prayer won't be enough one bible reading won't be enough one discipline won't be enough one unusual worship time won't be enough it takes multiple walks to the presence of god to have a progressive vision beyond your own planning for yourself vision is progressive just when you think you're done god i've obeyed you i've come to a place where i think i can rest now god says hey you who's been faithful in little i'm going to make you faithful over much so you what young people your age is going to be no indication of what god can do through you your age does not mean this much or little more or maybe some more no age is just a number your young age or old age seriously is no business to god god says if you're willing to catch a vision i'm willing to release the provision and so i want to encourage you please don't limit your vision to the ideas of the television 
or what your friends suggest or what your neighborhood prophet limited you to but go to God in prayer seek God in his holy word and catch the progressive vision that takes you beyond your accomplishments into what God can accomplish for you and lastly when you talk about vision the thing about vision is this my friend your vision can last beyond your lifetime Nelson Mandela had a vision for South Africa Mahatma Gandhiji had a vision for India. Well, their life on earth is over. But in the language of the Holy Bible, Hebrews chapter 11, all of these men of faith, though dead, yet speak. Why? Because their vision was from God and a vision from God lives beyond your expiry date. You may have an expiry date, but your vision does not. In the words of Apostle Paul, I have a bondage, I have a limitation. The gospel I preach has no limitation. Get your vision from beyond your own abilities. Don't you limit your vision to your abilities, to your understanding, to your parents' support for you, to your career, to your bank balance. Excuse me, don't you hitch a ride into your future having tagged on your life to your ability. No. Do what Abraham did. He anchored his ship to the eternal power of God Almighty. And therefore, he moved and though dead, yet speak. Why? Because the vision lives on. God is the author of vision. The Bible says the vision is for an appointed time. And at the end, it will come to pass. God's called you to lead more than yourself. Yes, you're a leader and you will lead more than yourself. Yes, you must lead yourself, but you will lead more than yourself. You're a voice of God in your generation. And the vision is for an appointed time. Through you, the appointed person in your generation, the appointed people and the provision, the appointed provision will come in your life. Love you. Looking forward to the great exploits that you will do because the vision is for an appointed time and in the end it shall be fulfilled your virginity won't stop the birth of christ dear mother mary that's true your inability will not stop you from birthing israel abraham it doesn't matter if you're a hundred years old joshua you and your ragtag slaves will conquer the promised land so what if you don't have training in the army camps because the vision empowers. Get hold of the vision and God will get hold of you and you will do great things. Love you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Join us next week for a new episode of Blessing Today Legacy Talks. Subscribe to Damien Anthony YouTube channel right now.